Did you ever wonder how many times can a Samsung Z Flip 3 fold before it breaks? I did and it got me here. But this story started a long time ago. Usually producers claim that their foldables can be opened and closed for about 200,000 times before anything happens to the hinge and the screen. These are the two main concerns here. But how many times per day do you open and close your phone? Ask this Reddit user about a year ago and these are the answers he got. 20 to 30, 50, one guy says 100, 100 a day. Dividing 200,000 times by 100 gives us 2,000 days of worryless folding that is five and a half years. So maybe let's not wait for over five years, let's have a machine do it for us. Thought CNET about two years ago while testing the Motorola Razor phone. The test had to be stopped at 27,000 faults. That was way sooner than Motorola expected. So they issued a statement in reaction to the test. Square Trade's Foldbot is simply not designed to test our device. Therefore, any tests run utilizing this machine will put undue stress on the hinge and not allow the phone to open and close as intended. CNET's test is not indicative of what consumers will experience when using the Razer in the real world. We have every confidence in the durability of the Razer. At this point I was wondering where did Motorola get their confidence from and learned that they have their own folding machine that doesn't seem to put any undue stress on the hinge of the phone. Perfect, I thought, and tried to buy this machine. But surprise, surprise, it was hard to find. When I finally found a similar one, the company that produced it told me that they can sell it to me for 30k USD. As a YouTuber, I leave bigger tips at McDonald's. But this time I had no change on me, so I asked a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend in China to make me a similar machine for less than regular people tip at McDonald's. And this is the machine. I mean, yeah. This is the machine. After weeks of testing, I had to replace one engine and just sensors. But after I did that, the machine managed to fold this Z Flip 3 more than 80,000 times. And the phone is in perfect condition, as is the machine. That gave me the confidence. Wait, because it's like. This gave me the confidence that they might both survive the 200,000 faults test. In the meantime, Samsung showed their folding machines in the video and I thought, the experiment I'm trying to run here doesn't make sense. These companies like Samsung, Motorola and others fold their phones in their test centers. And if they claim that the phone can be folded like 200,000 times, they probably are able to fold it like 400 or even 6, 800,000 times. And we will be stuck here looking at the machine folding the Z Flip 3 and we will die before anything happens. On the other hand, more and more customers are reporting screen failures after 3, 6, 9 months of using the Z Flip 3. So it's time to unveil the most shocking and unexpected fact. The way a person folds the phone is different from the way it's done by the machine. Shortly after receiving the Nobel Prize for this groundbreaking discovery, I decided to ditch my original plan and make a human test instead. This is a simple mechanism that will count the faults. Here are the sensors, this is the counter. I will sit in front of two or even three cameras to make sure that this is perfectly visible and fold this phone for two hours. Then another person comes in and takes over and then after two hours another one and so on and so forth. The test will go on continuously 24-7 until the phone breaks. And it will be live streamed on this channel. I will use another Z Flip 3 for this purpose. 
It's new, not even opened yet. I'm gonna unbox it, attach the sensors, we've got spare ones just in case, and start the test on the 7th of June. It's Tuesday. Will the tests fail before the smartphone does? I don't know. How long will this Z Flip 3 survive? I don't know. Will you be there to watch it live? I hope so. Why am I doing this? So you guys gave me this by hitting the subscribe button too many times or too many of you. Uh, I know this is a participation award at this point and no one cares, but I do. And I want to give something to you as well. Thus the live stream. Thanks for this and hope to see you soon. And also I started a TikTok account, very successful already. And if it reaches 1k followers, I have zero now, I will be able to live stream the whole thing there as well. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll stick to the YouTube live stream. Yeah, we'll stick to YouTube.